Hi, I'm Kiernan, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The Shawnee Cow Sheriff Office will be increasing traffic effort enforcement around high school areas as part of the SAFE program initiative through tomorrow. Officers will be focusing efforts on seatbelt compliance. Viking Brew is now selling smoothies in addition to coffee. Be sure to check out these from 710 to 747. Current flavors are strawberry banana and peach pear apricot. Please park in your assigned parking stall in the Seaman parking lot. Even if a stall is open, it still belongs to somebody. If you have any questions, see Officer McKay in the security office. Please note that east entrance slash exit by the tennis courts from 3 to 3.30 is an exit only, so both lanes can be used to exit the lot. See Officer McKay if you have any questions. Now to Zoe after this short commercial break. At all school events and games, make sure to create a safe and welcoming environment. Follow Rule 52, display good sportsmanship, and remember all school rules when cheering on our teams. It's always a great day to be a Viking. Good afternoon Vikings. We have had quite clear skies for the past couple of weeks, but we are expecting some rain chances as we continue to get further into this week. Today is going to be pretty warm with our temperatures being up in the 70s and very sunny skies. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, we're going to be warm today before we drop clear back down to the 50s and then we go clear up into the 60s and we're going to even out into the 60s until next week. For spring break, we are expecting our temperatures to be fairly warm up in the 70s and 60s area, possibly dropping down to the 50s for a couple days, but we all are all also expecting some rain showers to reach the area throughout that week. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. Now for sports. Good luck. Good luck to both our boys and girls bowling teams who will be competing at state today in Wichita. This event will be live streamed on Facebook Live on the Seaman Bowling Facebook page. The baseball fan cloth order is now up and going. Please check, out, check it out and see if there's anything you would like. The link for the website is provided in Schoology. You can also get your softball apparel at the link provided in Schoology. Anyone that would like to support the boys golf team can order merch from the site provided in Schoology. Several wrestlers participated in the state wrestling tournament last weekend. Let's see how their season ended. Substate wrestling took place the past couple of weeks. Here's how some qualifiers feel about their season. I had two heartbreaking losses. I lost by two points in the semifinals. Well, not semi, the quarterfinals. And then I lost in overtime to place, which it was pretty heartbreaking, but I feel like I tried my best. My junior year, I was honorable mention in almost everything for heavyweight. And this year, to be honest, I think I picked it up a little bit. I fell short a little bit going into state, but in sub state, I placed third place. Coronavirus has affected many aspects of school this year, but these guys noticed one thing in particular. Say just the fan base. Um, going to competitions, they really wouldn't allow many fans in, and it, to be honest, it wasn't a big factor, but you could tell there wasn't that many people there. Like the rules of people coming, my family, my friends, and everything, it made it pretty difficult because usually I'm, like, getting yelled at by, like, my friends, my mom, and everything, and usually, for, like, this year, they only gave us, like, two vouchers at the end of the season, 
until like stay where I got seven. But it was just weird not having like a large crowd like watching me and stuff. The changes made the gym more quiet and that was different for Kyle. I just try to ignore it. I usually I look up in the stand before I wrestle and like admire everyone there. But this year I just try to focus on my opponent and just focus on my match really. The wrestling team does have traditions to help wrestlers get through their match. At the end of our warm-ups and pre and pre-warm-ups before competition, um, we come together as a team in a circle and we pray together and say our chant and we go to competition. So I think that really helped me and brought me closer to my team this year. Along with this motivation, Ewan also has to prepare during practices. I'd say I just take practices uh, pretty seriously and then that leads me into my competition and I'm, I should I do pretty well in competition. But there are still some things they say they could improve on. I would say my mindset and my skill set. Uh, with a weak mindset, I think that's how I lost most of my matches. And to, I, to be honest, better prepare myself would be something else that I could have done better on. Because if I was well better prepared, then I could have won more matches. Just condition more. Because during that last period, I just got gassed. I tried, like usually throughout the season, I didn't really get gassed like I did through today. I think it was just some of the nerves in the air, knowing that it might be my last tournament of the year. In this wrestling season, they did have adversity with COVID. It first started off with, like, I was sick. I felt sick, so I had to quarantine and everything, got tested for COVID and everything, but it was negative and everything. But I had to do that a bunch of times until I finally tested positive, until the new strain came out. There were five other boys who made sub-state, including Jackson Thomas with 21 wins, two losses, and 18 falls at 195 pounds. At 152 pounds, Zach Jowers had five wins, 17 losses, and two falls. Garrett Griffin had one win, 11 losses, and one fall at 220 pounds. Justin Cruz made state with 12 wins, 16 losses, and 8 falls at 113 pounds. Lastly, Hunter Reno made state with 16 wins, 10 losses, and 5 falls at 170 pounds. Kyle Adams also made state. Four girls made sub-state, and Riley Murray had 18 wins, 2 losses, and 14 falls at 115 pounds. Madison Murray at 126 pounds had 8 wins, 6 losses, and 6 falls. Lastly, Jenna Best with 13 wins, 8 losses, and 18 falls weighed in at 120 pounds. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great day.